practice review for test number four. This is unit three, exponents and polynomials. So number one has uh, a parenthesis in the numerator alone. Notice that two and three, the entire problem's in a parenthesis, but in the first one, it's just a parenthesis in the numerator. So remember this two has a power of the first power, right? When anything, whether it's a two or an x, if there's no exponent here, you can assume that there is a one there, okay? So we want to notice that this is, this the, uh, the term in the parentheses raised to the second power. So we're going to be using the power rule to multiply our exponents. So this is two to the second and z is two times two is four. And then we didn't touch the one on the bottom. We want to process that two times two <clears throat> is four or two raised to the second power is the same thing. And then we have z to the fourth. We have z to the fourth minus a minus six. So that's z plus six is z to the tenth. So that's positive. You can also think about these six just being moved up. So that makes 10. So our final answer is a numerator, <clears throat> excuse me, only. So we're not going to put it over a one. Okay. The next one has a large problem with a lot of stuff going on in the parentheses. So we want to handle that first and then raise it to this power. I think in the book sometimes when things are raised to a negative one, they just tell you to swap the whole thing to get it out of the parentheses and get rid of this negative one. But I just, I don't go that far. I just go, okay, all this in here, it looks like there's stuff that can be done, right? You've got, um, you've got a fraction that can be reduced. I'm just going to put this negative one back and ignore that for a moment. Five divided by 10 is two. Then we have x to the negative 2 minus 7 is x to the negative 9. So I can either put the negative 9 on top or just go right to moving it down here. Okay. It doesn't really matter. That's up to you because I'm not, I'm, I'm not at my final answer yet. Um, let's see. The y's negative 3 minus a minus 6. So negative 3 plus 6. That would be y to the third. So that definitely goes there, okay? And then the whole thing is raised to a negative one. So that would be y to the three times a negative one. Two t is one times a negative one. And nine times a negative one. So that is y to the negative three to the negative one x to the negative 9, so the whole thing gets moved up. So this is 2x9. Each of these terms are to the negative exponent. Bring them up to get the ne negative exponent off. And then that's that for the last one. I, I don't know that you need all those steps, but um, that is the final answer for that. <clears throat> and there are different ways to do that. All right, the next one's a straight across. I, I don't touch it. I just do a to the negative 5 times, right, this is the, if you can see exponent, parenthesis, exponent, it's the power rule, so you're multiplying exponents, and then b to the second times negative 4, so this is going to be a to the 20, and b to the negative 8, which makes that a to the 20 over b to the 8th, all right? Uh, division, <clears throat> the way I like to do these is go ahead and divide this part of this, 8.5 divided by 4.5 is, comes out to, well, I should write show my work, 5 times 5 times, oops, not times, divided by 4.5 equals 1.9. 10 to the negative 36 minus 9, right? is going to be 10 to the negative 45. So my final answer is 1.9 times 10 to the negative 45. <clears throat> All right, polynomials. Let's see. Uh, identify the leading coefficient and the degree. We notice that there is, let's see, the largest exponent here 
is a four, so the degree, this is a fourth degree polynomial. Its leading coefficient is the coefficient in front of the leading term, which is a negative five, and the degree of the leading term was a four, okay? It's not, it's just a coincidence that this term is the first term. It could be somewhere else. In fact, it's more likely to be somewhere else and be out of order, and you need to find it because it has the highest exponent and put it first if you want to put your polynomial in descending um, exponential order so you can find the leading term. And in all polynomials are the degree or named for their largest exponent, okay? Um, if you wanted to put it in order, you'd move this three up and the two over and that kind of stuff. But let's, um, uh, let's just label it the way it is sitting here. So first term is the whole term itself. Don't forget to include the, <clears throat> excuse me, the negative in front of it. The degree is the same as the word X is the exponent. So this is a four. The numerical coefficient is what's in front of the x. The second term is negative 6x squared. Second term as it's sitting here, okay? The degree is a 2. The numerical coefficient is a negative 6. Third term is a 6. The degree is 0. It's a constant term. There really is a 6x to the 0 is really what that is. If you were putting it in order, it'd be the last one. This numerical coefficient is a 6. Fourth term is negative 2x. The degree is 1. This degree right there is 1. You don't see. Numerical coefficient is negative 2. Last term as it sits here. And this is a negative 3. Okay. All right. Re rewrite. Number 6 says rewrite uh, this number in appropriate scientific notation. What's wrong with this is this number doesn't have the decimal in the right place, so it really should be here. Um, so we're going to move it one, two, three this way and put it right there. So we moved it three. Notice what this is. This is a very small number. This number right here is a small number, and if I moved it three places, that would be an equivalent number to just that number. And then it already has the 8 here, so I add the 8 to it. So my final answer is 9.51 times 10 to the 5. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. All right, then I want to distribute this mononomial into this trinomial. So numerical coefficients first, 5 times 6 is 30. Then you have x to the fourth plus, we're just using the product rule here. When the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So this is different. The other ones above there were raised to a power. This is just adding exponents. So this is a six. And then you have y to the second. We're just gonna bring it along. Okay, that whole thing times this whole thing first. And now this one here. Uh, 5 times a negative 3 is negative 15, x to the first power, and 4 is 5, and then y to the second plus one more is 3, and then this one here would be negative 25, x to the 4, I don't see any other x's, and then y to the 4, and that's it. So what you have left is three terms that needed to be added or subtracted together, which you require to have like denominator or like, <clears throat> like terms for. So this is the finished product. Okay, don't fix. That, you're done there. All right, number eight. Uh, we need to multiply two terms that are in scientific notation. So it would be 5.9 times 8.6, which turns out to be 50.74. And then we have 10 to the 11 minus 49 is 10 to the negative 38. 
The problem is that this number right here has two um, digits in front of the decimal. The rule is you're only allowed to have one, so the decimal needs to be moved to get 5.074 times 10 to the first power would be equivalent to the 50, right? So this one right here needs to be added to this 38, so you're going to get 10 to the negative 37th. So my final answer is 5.074 times 10 to the negative 37th. Okay? Uh, the next one, it says subtract this binomial from this one. From is one of those keywords that mean when you translate, the terms are out of order as you see them from left to right. So that means this is first, okay? This binomial is first, and then we're subtracting. That's a negative or sub minus, whatever you want to say, this one. This binomial is subtracted from that one. So this would be the order you write that in. Um, the first set of parentheses is unnecessary, but this one needs to be distributed, this negative. So this is negative 6y minus 7. And then we need to combine any like terms, these two in the middle here. So my final answer is going to be y squared uh, minus y minus 7 because there's one left, okay? And number 10 says multiply and write the answer in descending order. So you can FOIL or distribute, however you want to refer to that. First, 4 times 3 is 12. And then remember, we're going to be adding exponents when we multiply bases that are the same. So this is S, 1 plus 1 is 2. Over here, this is plus 16S. Right here is negative 15s, and then from here to here is negative 20. And then I have like terms in the middle, so my final answer in order would be 12s squared uh, plus s minus 20. All right, and identify the leading term. The leading term is 12s squared. Number 11. <clears throat> Order of operations says you must do what's in the parentheses first, but there's nothing to do in there. So the next thing is the exponent. So we want to multiply, use the power rule. That's supposed to be a multiplication there. Okay, so the three, I think the biggest problem with this one is the three, remembering the three has a one for an exponent. So I didn't do anything with the negative, but three times one, this three times one is three. Okay, and then W4 times 3 is 12. And then staying in the parentheses, this is 3 to the third power. So that's 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. W12. And then this is just this term times a negative 1. So negative 27 W12. Okay. Convert the next one to scientific notation. So that means I need to move the decimal to way over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Remember, we're counting the spaces between the numbers, and we're moving it 7 times. So 2.3 times 10 to the 7. And then remember, 10 to the 7th is a huge number. This, this number over here that we have is a little tiny number. So this is definitely a negative 7 to be equivalent to that. Okay, I'm sorry, this is, seems to be having a problem with that. Sorry, 2.3 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay. All right, and then this one is a division. The expression is to turn it into a sum of fractions. So the numerator goes over top of the denominator with a plus. 8c, and just repeat. I like to put pluses in the middle, the sum of fractions, so you can reduce. So this first term here reduces to what? 12 divided by negative. It would be a negative 3c. Uh, minus, because 
this is another negative. Was that an eight? This eight, that's not a negative here. That's just a. Sorry, that's just an eight. <laughs> uh, negative two. Yeah, because the C's reduce away, right? And then the negative over negative is a positive, and then C squared. Okay. And the rest I'll do on another video.